Hello. The Friday 345 group has begged and conjoled to have a story. It's not a good story, I've been struggling. But for Guy, Oscar, Chloe, Finn, Belen, and especially Seth, who so wanted a story, this is for you, my darlings. Many years ago, this is a true story. Many years ago, at the end of the second millennium, our fifth child was born. As he emerged into the world, the sun turned black, the birds stopped singing, the wind blew an icy wind. Actually, it was eclipsed in August 1999, and B just happened to be born then, but you know, let's not waste the story on, on being every day about this. And you know, things drift between truth and um, the other as, it, as need arises. So, born across ancient ley lines, and on such an auspicious time, he has been blessed with certain gifts. One of them, one of them is Bede's gift to keep Brownie Pack in order. He wills them, he looks at them. And they do as he told them. They line up, they're quite... You should have seen them on church parade on Mother's Day. Scouts, they were having a laugh. They were there to enjoy themselves, and they did. The Brownies, little ninjas, every one of them, under Bede's watchful eye. The other thing that Bede has a gift for, amongst many, is his ability to round up chickens. I'm not that fussed about them escaping in the mornings. I think if they escape, well, why not? I try and make it difficult for them, but not impossible. It seems a bit unfair to completely stop them being able to do it. So every now and again, you can hear them wake up and go, and then, and you can hear the lid being slid off the top of their thing. And then all you hear is this sort of like, and then they're quiet because they've all got out. And then as they go around digging up my vegetable plants, so I'm going to have to tie them in a bit closer. Bede, he just goes out there and he says, ladies, time to go home. And he opens up the, what do you call it, door. And in they go. They'll run up to him and go, oh, Bede, Bede, we love you. Of course we'll go home. There's, in you go, ladies, time to go home. Throws them some corn and then closes the door. Now, have you ever tried rounding up chickens? Now, it has to be said that Duncan still escapes every day. Duncan is a black chicken and little Benton. And like the darkness, can sneak through any hole. Whereas Jenny, her, we like to imagine sister, but we're not sure. Jenny is another, she's a golden one, and she is beautiful. But she doesn't sneak through holes. Sometimes, when she's a bit skinny and not laying, because they've got a fence, she can get out the holes, but she can't get back in. She gets stuck. She can't do it, so we have to pick her up and put her in. So, that is the story how Bede won his magic powers. How Duncan is like darkness and can sneak through all holes. And how Jenny is just plain Jenny. Bye bye children. Now remember, stop listening to daft stories and get on with your work. Love you lots.